What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Marcos and today we're going to check out this new phone. Just launched. We actually got it early. It's called the TCL TCL30Z. Um, so as you can see, we have a picture of the phone in front of it. Uh, here in the back, we have some of the specs. As you can see, we have a 6.1 inch display, 8 megapixel camera in the back, 5 megapixel camera in the front, 32 gigs of memory and 3 gigs of RAM. So let's unbox it and let's see what's inside. So here's what we get inside the box. As you can see, we have the TCL30 in the box. It comes with this nice little package. Um, this looks to be a very entry level device as it's only $100. Um, as you can see, it has a nice texture here in the back. Let's check out the charger real quick. It's a regular charging brick, it looks like. And it's a USB cable, let's see. USB, micro USB cable. Wow, I haven't seen one of these in a while. So entry level device. And then it also looks like this device has the battery outside the box. So that's all you get. And then you get a nice user guide right here. So entry level device, it's $100. Now let me power it on and show you what else is inside. All right guys, so here we have the TCL 30Z. As you can see, here's the front of the display. It has a nice display. The display in the front is a 6.1 inch display. We do have a front facing camera with a B notch built in, uh, B notch slot right there built in. The camera in the front is a five megapixel camera. Uh, overall, it looks like a nice display, but as you can see, we have some borders here around the phone. So it takes some of the display kind of like size. On the right side, we do have the volume rockers. We do have the, the power and the volume up and down. So this will turn on your phone and turn it off. Um, on the left side, not much is going on. And the top, we do get a headphone jack and a microphone hole. In the bottom, we also get some speakers and the micro USB port right there. So micro USB is pretty old. We haven't seen those in a while. In the back, we do get this very cool texture kind of back it's smooth it's not it's not rugged or anything like that but the design's built into the texture tcl branding right there we also get one camera and we also get a flash built in the camera here in the back is an 8 megapixel camera nothing too crazy but a very nice entry level device so for storage we do get 32 gigs of built-in memory the software uses about 13 gigs so the rest is remaining for apps and pictures and text and everything else like that. So 32 gigs built in and then for RAM, we get three gigs of RAM. So as you can see, it's nothing fancy, nothing too crazy. It's a nice entry level device. I want to say this is a perfect phone for like a replacement phone, a backup phone, or let's say you're a little short on cash. This phone's only $100, which is a really good phone just to, you know, have your apps, your games and stuff like that for a couple months. Uh, as you can see, the, the Android is... Uh, is android 12 so it looks very smooth not much going on it doesn't have much much bloatware but it does have some google apps already built in it does offer and um does offer google pay so i wonder if it, if it has nfc built in it might because it's in there right so um not much else going on in the phone we do get a 3000 milliamp battery which is removable uh the processor that this phone has is a media tech 676 1b ca 2 gigahertz octa-core processor so mediatek usually means entry level nothing too crazy and we get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so let's also check out the video um here on the top it's kind of the settings on it i like their how clean their their like kind of like menu button is on there so that's their menu button for media for brightness for bluetooth and everything else like that so that's very clean and how much going on let me try a youtube video so for video streaming looks like we can stream up to 1080p pretty much 1080p let's see if we can watch this video the processor is a three gig processor is not the fastest as you can think as you can see it actually takes a few seconds to kind of load but the color looks good i mean it's a good phone i mean if you need a backup phone this one's pretty decent speakers right here in the bottom this is what the colors look like as you can see the video is kind of like seems like it's taking a little bit to load it's like pause it's not that fast so i don't know if that has to do with the processor 
It might have to do with the processor. So sound sounds decent. I mean, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. So not bad at all. Colors look good. Pretty detailed. So overall, clean design. I mean, not nothing too crazy. But as you can see, the video is kind of loading. It's on Wi-Fi and it's kind of loading slowly. And then for security, the only thing that it provides is face unlock and swipe. So that's what you would do for uh, unlocking your device. You don't have a fingerprint sensor. Um, overall, very basic phone. Uh, the camera is pretty basic as well. It's only a 8 megapixel camera, as you can see. Very kind of dark, nothing crazy. And basic device from TCL. So if you're looking for an entry level device, this one's $100. I'm sure it'll be free when you switch over from another carrier to Boost Mobile. But if you want basic, basic, or you're short on cash, this is a good phone to get. But other than that, there's other better options on there. Maybe the TCL 30XE, or maybe a Moto G Pure, or maybe, maybe a Galaxy A13. So I just wanted to do a quick video of this new phone that just came out. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. Thanks for watching, guys.